You decide to borrow $20,000 to buy a car. You obtain an interest-bearing loan for five years, making equal monthly payments. In what month will you pay the most toward the principal? And for the second question, in what month will you pay the most toward interest? To better understand this question, let's take a look at a loan table as well as a graph. We will assume the APR of the loan is 5% and the monthly payment is $377.42. So looking at the table, at the end of the first month you must pay one month's interest on the $20,000. One month's interest would be one twelfth of 5% or 5 twelfths percent. And 5 twelfths percent of $20,000 is $83.33 which means when you make the monthly payment of $377.42, you pay $83.33 in interest. The rest, $294.09, goes toward the principal or reducing the loan amount. After the first month, the loan is reduced to $19,705.91. Then, at the end of the second month, you must pay one month's interest on $19,705.91, and 5 twelfths percent of $19,705.91 is $82.11. So when you make the second payment of $377.42, you pay $82.11 in interest, which means now $295.31 is applied toward the principal or reducing the loan amount. And therefore, after the second month, the loan amount is now $19,410.60. So looking at the loan table, notice how as the months go by, you are paying less and less in interest, which means you pay the most interest toward the beginning of the loan and the least interest toward the end of the loan. And now looking at the amount paid toward the principal, notice how it's increasing as the months go by, which means you pay the least amount toward the principal at the beginning of the loan and the most amount toward the principal at the end of the loan. If we take a look at this graphically, the graph shows the portion of each monthly payment that gets applied to interest compared to what's applied to the principal. The horizontal line here at the top represents the payment amount, which is y equals $377.42. So if we focus in on the interest, notice how at the beginning of the loan, a larger portion of the payment goes toward the interest, and as time passes, a smaller portion of the payment goes toward the interest. And now looking at the principal, at the beginning of the loan, less of the payment amount is applied toward the principal, and as time passes, a larger portion of the payment amount is applied toward the principal. Or more specifically, we can say, you pay the most interest the first month of the loan, and the least interest the last month of the loan. And you pay the least amount toward the principal the first month, and you pay the most toward the principal the last month of the loan. So now going back to our two questions, in what month will you pay the most toward the principal? That's going to be later in the loan. The latest month listed here is month 50, and therefore we select month 50. In the second question, in what month will you pay the most toward the interest? You pay the most interest toward the beginning of the loan, which in this case would be month one. I hope you found this helpful.